Welcome to Sydney Tour Channel. Have you ever been to the Sydney Chinatown night markets on a Friday night? It's like stepping into a whole other world. Dixon Street goes from bustling Chinatown to a full-blown Asian street food extravaganza. Before we dive into Chinatown, I just wanted to say a quick hello to all the new people. If you want to see more travel vlogs, food exploration, and maybe even a future Chinatown food challenge, then please smash that subscribe button down below and hit that notification bell. Friday nights are pretty fun. They have these Chinatown night markets on Dixon Street. It's like a giant outdoor food with tons of stalls serving up all kinds of delicious food. Even if you're not super hungry, it's a cool place to wander around. There are little shops selling all sorts of interesting things, and it's fun to see all the Chinese characters on the signs. In this night market, the first thing that hits you is the smell. A delicious mix of spices, sizzling meats, and fresh herbs. Every stall seems to be cooking up something amazing, from delicate Vietnamese rice paper rolls to mountains of steaming Malaysian satin. It's enough to make your stomach rumble from a block away. It's not just about the food, although that's definitely a major draw. There are also vendors selling all sorts of cool stuff, handmade jewelry, quirky souvenirs, even some unique clothing you won't find anywhere else. It's a great way to support local artists and find one-of-a-kind treasures. The air thrums with an infectious energy, a symphony of sizzling meats, enthusiastic shouts from vendors hawking their wares, and the happy chatter of people from all walks of life. It's like stepping into a whole other world, a vibrant tapestry woven from delicious smells, dazzling sights, and the joyous sounds of a community coming together over good food. Then there's the crowd. It's a vibrant mix of locals and tourists, all there for the same reason, delicious, affordable eats. You'll see groups of friends sharing plates of pad thai, families with happy kids munching on takoyaki balls, and even couples enjoying a romantic stroll while noshing on some spicy siege on skewers. The energy is electric, and it's super contagious. Don't just follow the crowd, explore the side alleys, chat with the vendors who are usually super friendly, and don't be afraid to get a little messy, it's all part of the fun. It's not huge compared to some Chinatowns around the world, but it's got a great vibe. Dixon Street is the main strip, pedestrian only and lined with restaurants. You can get all sorts of Chinese food there, from yum cha to fancy sit-down meals. But honestly, Chinatown's become a bit of an Asian food hub in general. There's Thai, Vietnamese, Korean, you name it. There are vendors selling all sorts of cool stuff too. Handmade jewelry, quirky souvenirs, even some unique clothes you won't find anywhere else. It's a great way to support local artists and find one of a kind treasures. Don't just stick to the main stalls with the longest lines. Sometimes the magic lies in the smaller vendors tucked away in corners. You might find a hidden alley with a vendor selling handmade jewelry that'll knock your socks off, or maybe a stall with quirky souvenirs. Honestly, the hardest part is deciding what to try first. It's sensory overload in the best way possible. 
Just remember to wear clothes if you don't mind getting a delicious splatter on. With all that amazing food around, accidents happen. <laughs> Maybe you're feeling a little more adventurous. Those vibrantly colored sea chuan skewers with their fiery reputation are definitely calling your name. Don't worry, there's bound to be a bubble tea stone nearby. It's rainbow-hued concoctions, the perfect antidote to any spice-induced fire in your mouth. It's like a choose your dash own dash adventure for foodies. One minute you're grabbing a plate of Korean barbecue, the next you're trying some crazy colored bubble tea that looks like it came out of a cartoon. There's even some seriously cool clothes you won't see anywhere else. Perfect for finding that unique birthday gift you totally forgot about, don't worry, we've all been there. Prices at the night market are generally super affordable, so you can try a bunch of different things without breaking the bank. It's the perfect opportunity to be adventurous and discover your new favorite Asian dish. So, if you're looking for a fun and affordable way to spend a Friday night in Sydney, the Chinatown night markets are the place to be. It's a feast for the senses, a chance to try new things, and a guaranteed good time. The music of the Chinatown night market is more about the atmosphere than a specific playlist. It's a vibrant mix of sounds that captures the energy and excitement of the event. So, grab your mates, some cash not all vendors take cards, and get ready for a night of delicious chaos in Chinatown. Your taste buds and Instagram will thank you. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up by hitting the like button. And if you want to see more awesome content like this, hit that subscribe button down below. Thanks for watching.